Today's show is sponsored by Profit Accumulator, the UK's number one match betting service. So what is match betting? It's a method that's used by individuals to profit from free bets and incentives offered by bookmakers. And when you sign up to Profit Accumulator, they will walk you through how to do match betting with their easy to follow video guide. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and you can start your Profit Accumulator journey today How's it going people? Welcome back to AFTV and welcome back to the warm up. Before we get going, this video is brought to you by Profit Accumulator. There's a link in the description below. Make sure you guys go check it out. And we're coming off the back of another demoralizing 90 minute performance, this time in the Europa League. I don't want to dwell on it too much. We've talked enough about it, I think. Yeah. I do want to focus on Sheffield United, but where do we start? Give us some stats, James. Give us some stats. Oh really? Straight, yeah, let's Straight get, in the stats? Let's oh yeah, yeah, let's get um, yeah. Any positive um, stuff? Oh, there's one. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. 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 Oh, I'll pick one positive. Let's start with the negative ones because um, I hadn't realised that in four Premier League games at Bramwell Lane, we've never won. Yeah. Two defeats, two draws. That really, that really struck me. And also, apparently, Bramwell Lane in four trips without winning is the kind of longest run without a win at an away Premier League ground. I mean, I. I I've, I, all these stats that we read out, okay, mm. they're fun, they're interesting, like you, you kind of learn things like that that you didn't know about, but it shouldn't really matter. What I'm looking at is the Premier League table. Okay, we're, it's going to pop up here. Okay, we're bottom of the top half, yeah. but yeah. they're bottom of the whole thing. And regardless of kind of stats and, and history and all that, this shouldn't be difficult, but with Arsenal at the moment, I don't know what to expect. Do you feel confident, any of you two, that, we, that we're going to win this game? I don't feel anything about this game, Cecil, mm. James. I don't feel yeah. anything. I don't feel worried. I don't feel nervous. I don't feel confident. I don't Empty, feel innit? anything. Yeah, I'm with I you. just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I just, and, and it hurts me to say that. Yeah, yeah, I'm with yeah. you. I never I'm thought I'd you. get to a stage where I don't care that Arsenal are playing this weekend. Yeah. I yeah, don't yeah. care. Like, yeah. what can they bring us now that will turn that confidence around for next Thursday? Can they do anything in this game on Sunday to make us more hopeful for Thursday? No, no, no. Like we could, we could lose one nil. I won't care. We could win five nil. I won't care. No, I got, I got to jump in here, guys. Like it, I, I do care because if we lose, it compounds the misery. It, it, it continues to raise more questions about the attitude of the team. And you know, when we came back from three 0 down against West Ham, we were happy that we showed the fight and comeback mm. and character. And I know that. It's still, right, say we go win 3-4-0 there, we put in a great performance. It doesn't turn everything around for us. It's not like suddenly, right, we're back on track, Arteta's the man, everything's great. No, the problems are still there. We need to see a bit of heart from the players. And also, I think we need to go into the Slavia Prague away trip knowing that we've just delivered a good away performance. Right, like, I do think these things matter. And I, I get what you guys are saying, like, no, I'm not excited. I'm not like, yes, Arsenal are playing, I can't wait to see them again. The team have left me feeling dejected. Yep. But it does matter. So like, I, I slightly disagree with you guys there. I, it, it does matter, not in the way it should, not in the way a club at Arsenal. It doesn't matter so, in the way it should, but it does matter. So what matters? It matters for the game on Thursday. This is that because I can't. What you just said there, I hear what you're saying, but I can't think of anything that really because the league to me is. Done. It matters in so many ways, man. If the, the players need to turn up and show that they're playing for the manager. If they turn up and they work really hard and they put in a good performance and we win comfortably. They're not down in tools on the manager. They've got to show, OK, you guys might. We might have left you dejected, but we're still going to keep going and fighting for it. That matters. Do you not think they had the opportunity to do that previously, in, mm -hmm. in previous games? Many. No, of course they did. Of course they did. But like, it's kind of like two wrongs don't rake a right. It's not like we yeah. can just keep sort of, all right, well, it doesn't matter now, fair enough, have it your way. No, they've got, they've got to... It's been going so wrong, they've got to sort of try to turn this corner at some point. Sometimes bouncing back can lead us down an alley of delusion. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and I completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah, you know? I, I do as well. No Arsenal fan wants to lose. And I'm not here standing saying I want Arsenal to lose. I'm standing here saying I don't care because I've seen us win games on the bounce back before where it hides papers, the cracks that are evident yeah, at course, this yeah. club. And I'm not yeah. saying Sheffield United would do that even if we go to win 4 5 nil there. I don't think the fans are at a place now where we're going to be Speed. blindfolded by such a result. Yep. But I just think this club, these players have let us down time and time again. And us saying, have they given in? Us saying, are they still playing for the manager? It's in a way offering excuses. They should be playing for us. 
They yeah. should be playing for the badge. Yeah. Facts. Like this man. Yeah. Like this man. Yeah. None of them are. Facts. I said that in the full time show. I said, yeah. there's, where's the pride? Where's the, where's the, yeah, playing for us. Like, Look, Petit said it's a vacation. Yeah. He said it's a vacation, a retreat. A lot of these players, are they playing to bring Arsenal back or are they playing to just get by? Mm. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it's the latter. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely think there's a sense of that in the squad. There's a sense of, um, because the fans aren't there, maybe they feel a bit disconnected from us. Yeah, remember when the um, fans were a problem at the stadium? The pressure, the atmosphere, that was all a problem. And I'm really yeah, glad literally. you bring that up because that was a narrative. The Arsenal fans are toxic, the Emirates is toxic, it's not good for the players. Hold on, they've just, they've not had us there. All right, they won the FA Cup, fair play. They mm -hmm. probably would have liked to have us there for that. but. <laughs> All season, our home record's been horrendous and they've got no one to blame but themselves. Yeah. No one else to blame. Arteta, the players, there's no one else you can look at. Toxic atmosphere and, oh, it was difficult and the pressure got to us. Playing in an empty stadium, there's no one but the press typing away. That's it, that's all you got. Mm. The so, club is yeah. toxic. Forget the atmosphere, forget yeah. the yeah. club in general is a toxic yeah. place to be at. Agreed. And I'm sorry we have had to start this you know, warm up in this manner, but you know, I don't think any Arsenal fan right now is in a, good state of mind yeah. around the club. Yeah. You know, so I do want to move on a bit and let's get into some of our lineups and see how we yeah, before, would approach this game. Before 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 we go into lineups, obviously I'll take a look at Sheffield United, we do this, the danger yeah, man. We're gonna look, yeah, we're look at players that we kind of should be aware of. We're a danger to ourselves. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm to Their danger, danger man, man is probably our player. Yeah, yeah. Our danger man today is Stan Kroenke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it could be Rob Holden, yeah. it, yeah, it could be Xhaka, Xhaka. it could yeah. be Bellerin, it could be Lacazette today. We should spin who knows it. who's going to be? We should just spin it. Um, yeah. So, our danger man today is one of our Arsenal players. We have five red cards this season. We've got to be aware of our discipline in this game. Nah, um, on, a, on a serious one. I looked at David McGoldrick, uh, six goals this season, one assist, I'm sure. He's the only really shining light that in that side, in my opinion. I, I do like Jaden Bogle, and I'm going to touch on him probably in the build-up. Also a good right-back, um, very young and very energetic and plays really well for Sheffield United. But yeah, McGoldrick is their main go goal threat at the yeah, moment. Yeah. But um, This was 17 league goals all season, you know? Yeah. We're talking about Sheffield's goal threat. Yeah, Sorry, I know we're terrible right now. I know we are. But like, <laughs> what's it going to? We it complain about Auburn and Lacquer. Auburn and Lacquer got more goals than Sheffield United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in, in total. Combined, yeah. And, and um, another yeah. stat for you guys, uh, they've had two clean sheets this season. They've kept two clean sheets in all their games. So... Do you see why I say it matters? Because if we don't go and win, it compounds the misery, it compounds the problem. It, it kills our confidence even more. From my perspective, I think it needs to be killed. I'm here right now, people. I'm here. Yeah. I can't go lower than here, blood. <laughs> The bounce back. Nah, autumn was lower. Autumn was lower. The, 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 the loss, the loss, the run we went, we lost. October to December was yeah. lower. It than makes this. you feel like it's lower, but when you know we've wasted another four or five months since then, or let's say four yeah. months since then, and we're back at where we was we were in still terms in cups of how we viewed well. the we were club. still in cups then as well. So I had, I had a bit of hope. We was in, was in still, I think it was in the FA Cup still, and yeah. Um, or, yeah, and the Europa League then. So it wasn't too bad. McGoldrick, right now, McGoldrick is going to be a problem because yeah, he, he, he gets about, he's physical, and at the end of the day, yeah. our defenders don't do well he will. against physical. Yeah, I also um, had listened to Arteta's press conference yesterday, and he, he spoke about Sheffield United, uh, Sheffield United, how every point to them matters. They're going to be physical, they're going to yeah, be strong, yeah. they're not going to be easy opponents. He also said that they haven't had much time, the Arsenal squad, to prepare themselves for this game on Sunday. So, I don't know if he's come up with excuses early doors, I don't know. Get out of the Europa League then, mate. <laughs> Four years in this competition now, I don't want to be hearing, you know, no, not enough time, not enough time. We've done nothing in it. Nothing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Do you know? It's not like that performance on Thursday took well, the life out of the side that <laughs> tell on them, Sunday yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah. be tell running them. on. Tell them. Do you know the mad thing about it is that when we dropped out of the Champions League, I was gutted. I really was. I remember the day that Liverpool finished above us. I was gutted. But I remember thinking, do you know what? We were doing nothing in that competition. Maybe a year out of it, just to regain a bit of confidence over two legged, mm. two -legged football matches, European football, a chance to play the kids, a chance to put a little bit more stock into the Premier League games, not worrying about Barcelona midweek and all that. I thought, this might be a good thing for us. But we've done nothing in it. The first year, we should have won it, and Atletico Madrid did what they do. Mm. Then you got Baku, mm -hmm. then we got Olympiacos, and now we're talking about potentially, Slavia if no goals are scored, we're out. If no yep. goals are scored, we're out of the competition. That's where we are. Slavia because Prague of our are performance leading. here. Right, yeah, Slavia Prague are leading this tie. I know it's 1-1, but they're leading this yep. tie. Yep. 
come on, we're not, we're not even talking about Sheffield United anymore. But I was with you, man. You know, it's. But this match must be in their mind, even going into Sheffield United. It has to be. Yeah, it has think. to be. We, we, we regress. We regress. We're spilling over from full time in the game a couple of days ago, and this is we're still feeling this way. Like it's it's so frustrating. It's getting on my nerves. I speak about the players and the pride that they have. Like I know players like so like Aubameyang. He wants to be a legend here, have a statue. He wants to leave a legacy. I expect every player that puts on that shirt to have, want, have that same belief. But when you watch them, it's like. It's, it's just not happening. It's not happening. That's just, all it's, it's all just talk. talk. No, Very exactly. Little action, exactly. You know? We're I'm now worried about Sheffield United. They're bottom of the table. Yeah. Well, I don't know what. What worries get. us is that yeah. we lack application, and by application I mean heart, desire, fight, determination, all of that. Sheffield United are going to bring that. Mm -hmm. They've had a poor season. They're more or less relegated, but this is their final few games in the Premier League. A lot of yeah, those players up for it. won't yeah, be yeah, back yeah. in this league. Yeah. You know. So they're going to be up for it. They're going to be up for a fight, and I know standing here now, they're going to be more up for it than us. <laughs> So it's up to our quality to prevail. So go on then, starting at 11s, you, you said Slavia Prague will be on the mind of the players. I think it will be on the mind of Arteta. So I think we're going to have differing opinions as to whether this is a complete throwaway for the 11 or a chance to experiment and try something different. Do you want to start, Turkey? I'm, I'm yeah. experimenting. Okay. Um, I think there's a few players in the side now that off the back of Liverpool and off the back of Slavia Prague, they don't deserve to start against Sheffield United. Um, so I'm going to go with the same back four I would have selected for Slavia Prague. Um, actually, I'm going with Ryan in goal. You mentioned a few could have done better that Leno has accumulated over the last two months that have become a problem. Yeah. Yeah. One or two could have done better is okay, but five, six, it becomes an issue. Mm. Yeah. So I'd put Ryan in goal. That's not me dropping Leno, it's making him aware that, listen, we're not happy with your performance. You will come back in in the Europa League, but listen, yeah. there's problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, yeah. back four, Chambers right back, Cedric left back because there is no choice. If you put Bellerin in there, fine. Yeah. I'm going with Gabriel Mari again. Why? Yeah. Because Holdings let me down before. Gabriel has let us did down right as well. Did all right though against the Slavia Prague. Yeah, he got, he he got, got all right. He got, he got criticism right. though, but At Gabriel. the same time, our defenders shouldn't be, you know, judged be the, on yeah, yeah. Slavia Prague. Yeah, yeah. If that makes sense. I know the big scheme of things, we know it's a problem, but yeah. I just go with Gabriel Mari. Let's just see if it works. There's no better side to do it against than the team that's more or less relegated. Mm. The team that lacks attacking threat, 17 goals. You play Mari and Gabriel, they concede. You might see a bit of a problem there because Sheffield United don't score many goals. You play them, they keep a clean sheet. You might see a future there. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going one way or the other. It's just I haven't seen that combination. Left foot or not, I don't care what they are. Yeah, I hear that. I'm with you. The two in the middle, I'm going Ceballos and El Nene. Why? By force. By force. Because I want Partey and Xhaka to be ready for Slavia Prague. Right. If that's our combination, I want them to be ready. We have no options in there. It's not like I can pull someone out and say, in fact, Aziz, I might even give him a shot in the middle. Mm. I think Aziz coming in maybe next to an El Nene, that might be why my not? preference. Yeah, why not? Moving forward now on the right hand side, I'd put Reese Nelson, someone we haven't seen for a little while. Oh, okay. He wow. was on the bench. Why wow. not? Why yeah. not? If he yeah, wants wow. to prove himself at the club, this team is nearly relegated. Go in there. You've seen what's happened in the last couple of games. A lack of attacking threat. Go and prove, prove yourself. yourself. Yeah. On the other side, Martin. Uh, this is a complete change up. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I don't disagree. I, I just think that it's needed. You know, mm, a lot Academy of these players need a reality check. Yeah. So Martin Aylund, I'll put Emil Smith-Rowe at number 10. Yeah. He didn't have the best of games against Slavia Prague. I know he took the, the fewest touches in the game in that first half and whatnot, but I believe he's just come back from a, a little injury. I think mm. he just needs some consistency again. He's been put out on the left sometimes. Yeah. Put him back in there. And up front, he's on the verge of signing a new contract. I think put in Balogun. If that contract news is true, surely he's going to be in high spirits. Much more higher than Laka and Obara, mm. even Eddie. So put in Balogun, if the contract news is true, put Balogun up top. 19 years old, Sheffield yeah. United, a game that means nothing. Mm. It You've will mean something. You've got he's been promised something, eh? In he's got to game be. time or, yeah, he's got, he's, you know, yeah, unless they're something looking, must have happened. He's got exactly, be. unless they're looking to put him on loan, which I think will be pointless. I don't think that would have been negotiated. You've got to involve him in some, some capacity, at some point. I mean, yeah. the door's open, by the way. Nketiah might be off, Lacazette probably off. off yeah. Then you've got Aubameyang and Martinelli. That's it, the door's open. Yeah. So I'm not against that. Well, I like the fact that, let's say next season, we're going with Oba and Martinelli and Balogun fighting for the next spot. They might take it next season off Oba, but with mm. Oba, they see a man that's getting on. They see a man mm -hmm. who is contract winding down at their ages, 18, 19 years yeah. of age. Yeah. In two years, the starting berth is theirs, if yeah. you take it. That gives them the competition, the mm. drive, the motivation to kick on. Yeah. So for me, it would be a good way to approach it, considering how much we have to do this summer. Yeah. Putting striker on that list, knowing the Arsenal way, we would never yeah, fix the problems we yeah, have. Exactly. James, you go, you go now. Yeah, I'll be quick. I'm know. sticking with the back three, because why not? 
By the way, this 11, I'll probably change my mind in like a minute. So. Um, Ryan as well, for yeah. the same reasons. Um, Chambers, Gabriel, Mary as the back three. Cedric and Saka as the wing backs. I'm going for Sparse and Partey in the middle. And I've gone for Odegaard and Smith Rowe behind. Who did I have up front? Aubameyang. Okay. Um, he came on and done well, Abba. He came yeah. on and did well. Unfortunate for Pepe, but um, yeah. I, look, I might change my mind, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not, it's one thing, I, even though I said this match matters, one thing I'm not that bothered about. But I went for something I consider strong 11 and something that I think could be a trial ahead of Slavia Prague because we need to get these players in form. Yeah. The 3-4-3, three, three, I agree with you. I think this will be the game to do that. I did like the idea of when you did it. Really? You, spoke about you, you didn't half uh, no, press me I did me a question. It, did no, I did you like you. it now. That's what it's about. Okay. Listen, right, that's what fine. we're here for. We've got to press right. you. We've got to yeah. test you. But for this sort of game, I just don't think it was right for a Thursday's game. But for Sunday, definitely I agree. Now, I'm going to quickly remind myself of my level, only because I've made so many changes. Yeah, I hear that. that <laughs> I hear you know, that. It just it is what it is. Um, Matt Ryan in goal. I've gone for the 4-2-3-1. Uh, Matt Ryan deserves an opportunity, I think. Now, nah, like it's a nothing game for me. Yeah. And Leno, same for Thursday. He hasn't been amazing these past couple of months, but listen, Matt Ryan deserves a shot. And if I'm honest, I want him to have a permanent deal at some point um, at the end of the summer. Himself, yeah, yeah, if he proves himself. And I think he needs the chance to do that. Chambers on the right, holding Mari and Cedric. Tall. So you're going for a back four? Yeah, yeah. I said that. So after telling me you loved my back four? No, I like it, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to change it, because I don't want... Do you know what? Do you think that's right for the game? <laughs> yeah, I did. So you're going for a back four? Do you know, but no, why? Because I know Arteta's he's not... No. Back he's moving like Arteta. <laughs> I'm moving like Arteta. <laughs> I like it. Then you turned up, told me you loved my back three, told me it's the way to go. Yeah, and but... Then you put out a back four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same thing, I spotted, I spotted Turkish having Balogun yeah, up front, yeah, yeah. but I haven't got Balogun in my side. Have you done, have you done a coach? No, because I'm kind of... I'm, I'm, I am doing this for my reasons, okay? But I do yeah. like both your little eleven. So cool. In the middle too, the defensive midfielders I've gone with. I've gone with Partey and Elneny. What do you think's best midfield for this? Like a two-man midfield. Okay. <laughs> <Or> a... <laughs> no, I'm, just, no. I'm just wondering what you think's best, so I can expect the complete opposite. <laughs> I think yours is best, but I'm not going to go with oh, yours. Oh, okay, no. So um, <laughs> the, the defensive pairing. We've got a laugh on, on these days. Um, defensive pairing, I've gone with, like I said, Partey and Elneny. We haven't seen it really work since Man United. And if I'm honest, I want to see more of it so I can be like, these two deserve a shot to the rest of the season. <laughs> I'll go for this. It's not going to work, but, but I'll go for it. But it is what it is. Um, no, in, front of, it. in front of him in the 10, I've got Odegaard. I know he's, he's injured. He's come, well, he, I don't know if he's fully injured on, for Sunday, but he obviously got an ankle injury in, national, in his you national. You wouldn't protect him for Prague, No. No? I think we missed him against Prague. Do you know yeah, what? We then we you missed him. Now, now, you, now you're making me change my mind. Listen, he can play both games. He can play Sheffield United, he can play Thursday, yeah? yeah. And he's going to need Matt Fitness on, on Sunday to be ready for Thursday. That's my opinion. I've got Willian and Pepe out on the wings, yeah? They came on. Willian said, they come on and they, they've, they've done well. They've done well. I want to see more of it. I want to prove themselves. I really do. And a Bamiang up top for me. Yeah. That is it. I'd love to see Balogun come on, but a Bamiang up top. You know, the thing about Arsenal is none of us can say bang on, we're right. And none of us can say bang on Arteta was wrong because we haven't got enough options mm. for us to say if he played, it would have been different. Mm. That's why the talk of always missing players, I tend to knock it back now because how, how many games in the season can you miss players? Yeah, yeah, if it's yeah, not yeah. one player, it's the other. Yeah, yeah. You just, know, so in reality, I think that we're, we've all just got, it's a guessing game. It's it a is, guessing game. It is, it is. You don't know, what, you don't know what's going to turn up on the day. Yeah. Or from it from the players. You don't know who's gonna put in a good performance and who isn't. Yeah. Like considering that, let's go with the the I was gonna say predictions, let's go with the guesses. We're gonna go with guesses. <laughs> yeah, guess. where we start, I'm gonna guess three one Arsenal. I'm gonna guess three one Arsenal because I want them to to show something. Sheffield United have nothing to play for. We have nothing in the league to play for, but we have everything in terms of morale, confidence and build up to the Prague to play for. So I'm going three one. Am I confident in that? No. It's a guess. <laughs> who's guessing next? One one. 1-1. One, one. Is that no, a guess or a prediction? No reason at all. There you go. It's a yeah. guess. It's a guess. 1-0. Either side. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I think we've all pulled out a prediction or a guess out of our sleeves. So here we are. Lineups done. Prediction <laughs> done, people. What can I say? I hope you guys have enjoyed the warm-up. You know, we've laughed a bit, but if we don't laugh, we'll probably cry. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. Leave us your thoughts in the comments below. Predictions, all of that. Take care, love and peace. <laughs>